What's going on everybody? We're here live at the Hershey RV Show showing you our favorite display in the entire show, the Alliance RV display. And with us is Ryan Brady, co-founder and friend that? of Alliance RV. Yeah, great to be here. So just walked into the show. Uh, looks like the weather's holding up. Excited for a big day today. Yeah, so who are you for people that don't know? So uh, Ryan Brady, I'm one of the co-founders at Alliance RV. Uh, we are a total manufacturer that uh, uh, has been specializing in fifth wheels and just recently as you know we launched a travel trailer uh, delta product laminate trailer which i believe matt knows a little something about i bought i bought one <laughs> of the very first ones um and 262 that, rb yeah and that's, that's something that that's something really huge so today we're gonna look at a paradigm a valor an avenue and a delta and the one thing that i want to say will and i we're, we're reviewers we're salespeople yeah, in a way right. Will is on his second alliance, and I'm on my first alliance. Right, so, we have four brands here. Between the two of us, we've owned three quarters of them. That's so. true. You guys are coming to Every, <laughs> yeah. you gotta get you in a Valor. You gotta get a Valor now. And, yeah. and, and the crazy thing about it is, we're buying them with our own money. Obviously, we get a discount working at a dealership, but we're spending our own money. These aren't give me demos. Yeah, we get a discount on anything. Right. Yeah. Really, you know. No. Well, no. I, other ma other manufacturers offer us stuff for free. Right. We rather buy it and put our money where our mouth is. Well, as you guys know, we're certainly not the biggest manufacturer, but I think what we're really good at is we build really highly functional, well thought out RVs. Yep. And then as you guys know, we try to separate ourselves from our competition with the service. When you buy an Alliance RV, mm. you have that peace of mind knowing the OEM is going to stand behind that product. Perfect. Which paradigm do you want to show us first? Uh, so we are in front. Uh, how about the 3D2? So this is a, uh, uh, Will knows a little something about this. Oh, yeah. is this your floor plan? <laughs> this is, yeah. Okay. So 382 uh, was a kind of a twist on our uh, 370 FB, and we actually incorporated this, made it into a rear kitchen. So uh, this was our this is our flagship product, the Paradigm. It was launched in 2019. As you guys know, our approach to product development is listening to customers. Right? Yep. We don't take chances and guess on on features and, uh, <clears throat> and bells and whistles. We try to go out to our customers and people that camp and and. Uh, live in these fifth wheels and try to solicit feedback on how to make the product better. Um, so this paradigm here, as you guys know, with the running gear, we made all sorts of upgrades. We run with the Moride uh, CRE suspension. Yes, real quick, Asdell sidewalls, yep. huge storage, PVC roof, double awnings. But one of the big things is your is what's going on under there. So tell yeah, everybody a little bit gear. about so that. So we do, uh, we upgrade our tire uh, rating. So we run with the, uh, we call it our Super G tire. It's a 4,400 pound uh, rated tire, which is gonna be the highest in the class. We do uh, wet bolts. Uh, yep. We do B brackets on the axle hangers and then the suspension that we talked about. So all those components. Oh, and the other thing too, is we upgrade the springs. Yeah. Uh, so we have 7,000 pound axles. But what we do is when we, we launched this brand and, and we heard the feedback from customers, a lot of cargo is in these big fifth wheels, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. We heard of instances of springs going flat, so we want to try to uh, minimize the chance of that happening by upgrading the, uh, the spring size. Right, and you will be 100% A-OK -okay with these axles. With that said, if you're somebody like Will or somebody like JD from Big Truck Big RV, and you do feel more comfortable upgrading the axles, you have that option on this. You do, yep. And now you can get the optional full body paint. You Why don't can. you show us the inside? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, one other thing on the outside too, uh, windows. So this was a, an early item that we incorporated. So you'll notice this price point of a fifth wheel, we do not do uh, the frameless style windows. Okay. Reason being, we're all about functionality, right? The feedback that we got, frameless windows, they look pretty, but from a functionality standpoint, they just tip out you know, a couple inches. We wanted windows that you can slide all the way out. If you're camping a nice fall evening, bro, yep. those windows open, get that cross ventilation. Bro, what's more important? having nice looking windows or having a nice view from the uh, inside we think, <laughs> we think the uh the view and the functionality of opening was more yeah. perfect let's check out the well, inside. On inside okay hey will welcome home yeah welcome home. well yeah i feel like will should be doing this too <laughs> right so here we are this is uh been one of our most popular floor plans as you can see the spaciousness of it you got plenty of seating area mm -hmm. large 50 inch tv um you know, Alliance features from day one, we don't do any carpet anywhere. We do residential size ovens, soft clothes, cabinet doors, real hardwood. The other thing I always like to highlight, all of our Paradigm products are gonna come standard with three air conditioners. Yes. yes. Uh, which is, we think, super important, right? People that uh, have these big fifth wheels, they often are going to southern states, you know, Florida, Arizona, mm -hmm. California, and a big 40-foot fifth wheel, sometimes two ACs wasn't enough. So we did three standard on our products. And I would like to eat my words from 2019. When I first saw the product, if you remember, yeah. uh, that, that was one of my dislikes. So these two AC units are non-ducted. 
and um, the one back there is ducted because it goes to the bedrooms and yeah. in so, bathrooms. And I said, how stupid's that not having duct work? <laughs> yeah. Right? You weren't the only one. We heard it from a few people. But let me tell you something. I don't even know. You and I were recording in Florida last or this past summer in June, and it was hot. And we cranked so, on the ACs in all the coaches. Because the, yeah. the flowometry of yeah. the air, you know what I'm saying? Well, like, it, like, it really, really does cool it down. We way better. To, we did some testing around it. You think about it. You're taking cool air. You're directly placing that cool air into the coach. You're yeah. not running duct work, which, right. which hollows out your insulation. Mm -hmm. And it stands the reason. By the time that cool air reaches a duct six to seven feet away, it's going to be less cool, yeah. right? Yep. Each yep. turn, it loses. So it's more efficient yeah. now. You know. the, the and you're running it through the hottest yeah. part of now the, the coach. The knock on these things used to be was that they, they were loud, right? And so oh, we no. challenged the folks at Coleman. We said, hey, that, that sounds great. I, I, I understand what you're saying, but we want to make sure from a noise standpoint that these things are acceptable. And... Uh, we actually, you can download a, a decibel reader on your iPhone and test it, which we did. These things are low decibel, they're low amperage, and they're super efficient. Nice. The other I like the new furniture. And you can run two of them uh, if you're at a 30 amp campsite. Nice. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I like the new furniture in here. Yeah, for, looks yeah, nice. Well, the, in the, the, the new tile backsplash. Is that your color cabinetry? Uh, no, that's not oh, new. Oh, that's one Will's. Oh, yeah. okay. Yep. But yeah, this, the, is, the this is furniture. new. The, yeah, the backsplash is tile new. backsplash. Um, you know, we, we want our coaches, you know, nice and bright. Again, no carpet anywhere, big windows throughout. Uh, you walk in, you know, it's got that alliance feel. You, know, yeah. you feel the yeah. quality, the fit and finish uh, is there. Um, you know, little things that we did since day one, we reinforce all of our drawer boxes. You know, we're gonna put an extra piece of uh, wood underneath to yes. support that. We did the shut off valves in all of our major plumbing locations. That oh, was yeah. a day one feature. It's prep for dishwasher, right? Or not? It is, yeah, there's okay. some prep for dishwasher. Um, yeah, we have all the, the standard preps that you'd expect. And flush floor slides, that's one of my favorites. I love it. Flush so. floor slides, got the freestanding table. This was a big one since day one. We eliminated the pedestal underneath mm -hmm. the table, so you're mm. not knocking your knee. Yeah. Uh, even here, you know, a lot of these slide boxes, you'll see manufacturers that pull out these balances. Right. Which, it, you know, it's a little thing, but it, it eats up, you know, a couple inches of the functionality of the coach. Uh, all of our TVs, we run with a smart TV, you know, soft closed uh, toilet seat. Um, you know, just a lot of the little details that we think others overlook, we try to pay attention. Yeah, you know, this is a little thing that I always like to point out to customers. Yes. Uh, you come to this converter box here and you look at the labeling. Uh, you know, that's just the type of detail that we put in. Ah, oh, yes, very nice. From a service standpoint, if you need to diagnose something, if you're working with a, a, a dealer tech, yeah, for sure. uh, you can easily get in there and diagnose because of the fact that we color code our wiring mm -hmm. system. This is another one here too. Uh, the uh, control panel when you walk in, from again, a functionality standpoint. Yeah, we're not Steve we Jobs. We didn't want to cover it with the door, right? <laughs> right. You know, when you're, you're tripping around, fumbling around at night if you had too many beers at the campsite. Uh, this is exposed and yeah. the other thing too, you know, we have some uh, of our competitors will tout that they have, you know, touchpad, you know, right, app based, right, right. Uh, controls for their slide outs. We did some polling early on. We talked to a lot of customers. Mm -hmm. The feedback that we got was, hey, it's nice. It's 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 kind of cool, but we like the tried and true buttons. If, yeah. I, if I want to turn a light on, give me a switch. I don't want to toggle through three different. Well, I'm just trying to get my awning in. I ain't, you know, <laughs> cool. So let me show you guys. This is my bathroom in Will's unit. <laughs> I sit here. This is a prime pooping position. Bing! And yeah. I actually, I use it. And that's a half bath. That's not even the main bath. Right. right. Um, so coming up here, we had this upper deck in another floor plan of ours, a 370 FB, which does really well. Yeah, this is this is truthfully why we bought yeah, this is you why know, uh, this floor plan. I think plan. this is what makes this floor plan. You come in, it does. Get some lights on here. Uh, yeah, you look at this front, uh, uh, closet here you yeah camper storage nice hanging area because we do that flush upper deck we extend that kind of step up it goes way further into the nose right. so you don't have that step up that you typically find here in a fifth nice. wheel you know for Flash someone who's doing extended front. camping full timing i mean this is a killer go stand uh, in that shower will okay this is definitely a prime poop position 60 inches uh, this is awesome again this is another reason we bought it we love having a nice big shower Huge skylight and everything. Teak seat. This definitely passes. Bing. That's Bing. shower test seal of approval. Uh, I love it. Uh, this is our, our lab area. Here, another feedback item. So, you know, some customers, if you go into some of these big fifth wheels, you'll see double vanities. Okay. Yeah. And we said, okay, that that's kind of cool. Let's mm -hmm. maybe talk to some customers, see what they actually think about that. Yeah. The feedback that we got was, hey, 
We just need one, but get us yeah. one that's deep enough that I can actually get my hands underneath if I'm washing my face, you know, brushing yeah. my teeth. Give me a larger one and give me the storage on each side. So that's what we've done here. You won't find double vanities. You'll find a single bull sink, but that's nice and deep and extra yep. functional. That's a big thing Jen always says too. Yeah. Like she always wants a nice big sink. Yep. So yeah, and this is new too. We yeah. only have one sink in ours, but um, we have the kind of like gray epoxy. Yeah, so we play around with the colors here, just keep yeah, it fresh. Cool. This is kind of the natural tone color. So these epoxy tops, we actually uh, build these in house. We do. We have CNCs. Uh, and we call it our countertop shop that builds all of our, uh, it, it's in our Epoxy door trim. Uh, the Valor product has the, the window case. Nice. The it just gives it a little you know, different uh, feel. For sure. Coaches. All right, let's check out one of the toy haulers. Okay. Ryan, <laughs> Ryan was trying to spit out every detail of it. You, wow. you know your product. <laughs> well, we're proud of it, you know. Yes, sir. Uh, we have uh, 600 folks up in Indiana building these things. We're proud of our people. We're proud of our products. And again, it's, uh, it's all about you know the customer experience right? yes we uh we came from larger manufacturers where you know we were uh, you know, part of public companies yep here we're independent we answer to our our people uh and we answer to our customers and at the end of the day our mission is to provide the best ownership experience possible and stand behind that rv and i think uh you talk to our customers i think by and large you know we're doing just that we're taking care of our customers and we're doing the right thing i love it and if you guys are coming to the rv show this week make sure you stop by the mats rv reviews tent and pick up your mats cash your mats cash you then bring it to your salesperson here at alliance or any display that general represents and that's going to help you get a better price than the show price and if you're seeing a unit and you can't make it to the hershey show click our link down below to mats cash it doesn't matter where you live, we'll be able to help get you guys the best price in America. And let's say you live in Ocala, Florida, we sell uh, Alliance there. Um, we can get you the show price here and you can pick it up down there. So just reach out to us and our team. You ready to show us the Valor? I am. I'm going to loop in Jeremiah for that. He's oh, okay. our uh, Valor guru. Okay. Jeremiah. <clears throat> you got a second? Here he is. So he's the product expert on the Valor product. What's going on, guys? What's up, Joe Mel? Joe Mel. They've owned an Avenue, they've owned a Paradigm, they've owned a Delta, so we need them in uh, Valor now. Valor now. Absolutely, let's go. So is this the new one, the 44 this, yep. V14? Absolutely. So this is nice. the new 44 V14. All right, I'm going to leave it to the expert yeah, here, it. fellas. Yeah. All right, guys, come on. Let's pull. Cool. Right Brand new Valor. Brand new floor plan for us. We're super excited to debut it at this show. Uh, nice L-shaped sofa, good viewing angle on the TV, 14 foot garage. Hang on a second. This is a paradigm. I thought we were gonna see a Valor. No, this is a Valor. No, Valors are toy haulers. They are. This doesn't look like a toy hauler to me. That's the point. Oh, okay. There you go. <laughs> we're onto something. Right. <laughs> hey, that's my bad acting for the day. Right. So tell us a little bit about the Valor product. Well, Valor's been out now. Is we're going on our third year. Okay. Uh, we have been. Uh, it's been a great ride so far. We just introduced all access. Yes, which uh, we love. Yeah. So it's so funny because um, you know, there's like there there's other brands coming out to the market, and they're very impressive, right? But and they they are double, like they they took this unit in a sense and went up fifty percent. And you guys took this unit and went down 50% with the all access. And we're talking, I can get two all accesses. Right. For one of the price of the other guy. And it's like, let me tell you, you still tow down the road, you still sleep in the bed, and you still poop in the box. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, so I love that variety. And let's say you do want some of the nicer things in life, the regular Valor. I mean, that's it's not at all. You know, yeah. It has absolutely. everything that you're looking for. But I did like the whole decontented toy hauler, yep. only because these suckers are so expensive. They are. So to get one, you know, I know what we can sell it for, but to get one at that price is pretty phenomenal. Yeah, absolutely. And you've still got a lot of key features that people absolutely. know. You know these yes. weekend warriors is going mm. out. You still got a nice refrigerator. You still got a stove. You still got the- Yeah. Um, oh yeah, the Valor doesn't lose its bones. It you know, so it. that's what's even absolutely. more exciting. Um, but this floor plan specifically, guys, 14 foot garage, it, a lot of the creature comforts that you come to expect with the Valor product line, whether it be the L, L track tie downs. Come on, let's show us. We're here all the way to go. Got a beautiful garage in the back. 
Yeah, 14 foot garage. 14 this has always foot. been one of our favorites. Those tie downs, yep. you can adjust belt, it. Belt track tie downs. You've got the, again, the versatility of the washer dryer prep in the front and in the back. We've had yep. LED light strips. Mm. We've got the garage side entrance to the loft. We still are, uh, want to be known as the masters of 12 volts, so more 12 volt functionality than any other product on the market today. Uh, which is super exciting. You know, we kind of, I think we pioneered the, the, the solar path yes. in the RV industry. We're the yes. first to market with standard solar, standard 12 volt refrigerator. And I think it's um, gone over extremely well for us. Yeah, yeah, I agree. For sure. Let's continue on. I actually love this living space in here. Oh, it's hi. Gorgeous. This is really So nice. how do you put the slides in one of these like yep. pops out? You pop it out and then you store it. You put the chairs over here and then you slide it in here. Oh, okay. Okay. So, so for me, that'd be a dislike if you're a frequent mover. Yeah. Sure. If you coming and going, coming and going, coming and going, maybe not the best. But if you like to go to a place a week at a time, to have mm. a freaking luxury fifth wheel with a 14 foot garage, I mean, that's, that's right. And again, it's a 14 foot garage. Right. Yeah. Right. That's 14 huge. Foot garage, massive U shape here, <clears throat> plenty of storage space, top to bottom. Turkey uh, tested? Yeah. Turkey approved. Yes, sir. Um, we will finally went back to the original. I see so that. We, yeah. We I like the original that. Original Valors. That was a uh, dislike before. It was for a dislike. Us. It wasn't it, yeah. based on customer feedback. Uh, we ended up, well, we had supply constraints during COVID okay. and all yeah, that stuff sure. to where uh, we couldn't get the supply, but now the supply has been reprieved. We were back on the four burner. Uh, again, beautiful cabinetry. This is an all new interior. It is. So it looks wall great. Board. Yeah, nice floors. Um, super mm -hmm. excited mm -hmm. how it turned out. Quick back. Check out. Well, you need to be the one standing in that tub. You're, right. you're the tallest one here. It's an encore shower. Look at this. This actually oh, steps down. I dang, think. you look, look like a little that. kid hey, shower in there. Hey, look at that. that. Hey. That's phenomenal. This definitely passes. Bing. That shower has seal approval. That's right. Hold the camera, sir. Yep. Oh no. Oh no, I'm oh. rubbing a little bit. I know you're here, Jeremiah, but this is not a prime poop position. Dang. But it's not not a prime poop position. Like, it's just my back's hitting a little bit, maybe because I'm a little portly here. But at least my feet aren't hitting. And you know what? If I sit like this, then it is a prime poop position. Can I Everything's you know good. Sit like you would. Like I would? Yeah. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Hold the phone. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, uh, it, it's in net neutral. Yeah, I, I'm go. not going to pass go. it because you're here. Um, but uh, it, it definitely is very, very close. We've got... Uh, we redid the front storage compartment. So you got nice pull-out drawers down here. You've got uh, adjustable shelves up front. Yes. So one of the things that we did up here is if you do get the washer dryer prep up in the front, you're not going to sacrifice your hanging space. Nice. Yeah. So you bring one of these shelves down, put it right over top. You've got places to hang. Mm -hmm. um, flip up countertops, wow. shoe storage below. Yes. 12 volt. TV, love it. Great viewing angle again. And how much? LED this comes lighting. at 320 watts standard. No, right? 640 watts. Jeez. 640 standard, 100 amp hour lithium ion battery, and a 40 amp charge controller. And then you can do the super solar on this That's as correct. well, right? Yep. Which comes with? It comes with 960, 960 watts of solar. Okay. 60 amp charge controller, 3000 watt it, inverter. Um, so that's what I have on the Paradigm. So it's the exact yep. same as the exactly Paradigm. Exactly Okay, same. nice. And you can run one AC off of that, which is cool. Yep, nice. Well, Jeremiah, thank you so All much. Right, thanks guys, always a pleasure. Thank, thank you for you. coming in. And we're only halfway done. Before we take a look at the Avenue and the Delta, we have a special promotion from RVMatches.com. RVMatches.com is the official sponsor of the Hershey RV Show for Matt's RV Reviews. Right now we have the biggest promo code of the whole year. 30% off when you use promo code CHOCOLATE. We absolutely love our mattress from RVMatches.com. We will link the video that we did with them down below so you can see the different options. What I love about RVMatches.com, they'll mail you the mattress, ship it in a box, they come with custom RV sizes, and their factory's based in Arizona. Don't use our link down below. Use the special CHOCOLATE promo code, and that is effective from today until Monday the 18th at the end of the show, and it's 30% off. Thank you to RVMatches.com for sponsoring the video. Let's continue the video. All right, now with us is Ab Saleh. Hey, Do I say it right now? You always say it right. No, I don't always <laughs> say it right. Welcome back to the show. I'm excited. For those of you who don't know, Ab is... General Manager at Alliance RV. Yep, yep, and he designed the Avenue, which we have coined 
the avenue oh, wonderful so <laughs> if, if you guys love the avenue like will did will also bought one of the very first avenues i did yeah and uh well will and jen called it the avenue so ab what's going on with the avenue this year <clears throat> a lot right inside and out uh we'll start uh first and foremost with the new exterior graphics package okay yep we wanted to do something a little brighter a little lighter on the outside still wanted a very monochromatic offering i think these colors are going to go great with your gray trucks your whites yep. blacks. yeah that's going to go very well um but great movement on it as, as well there uh, a couple little things we did differently here, and I think I'm just going to highlight what we did new, right? Yeah, that, yeah, that yeah, works. Sure. Say? Yeah, or five, anything five, big. Five minutes long, seven yeah. minutes long. Wonderful. You know, we we want people to be interested enough to come to the Alliance display Absolutely. and learn more from the experts. Absolutely. Well, I, I'll start with the floor plan. This is a 37 MBR. Yep. It's a, uh, a mid bonus room, uh, coming in about 39 feet 11 inches. Uh, very cool floor plan. Excited to show you some things when we get inside. But on the outside, we talked about the graphics. Uh, the white exterior skirt metal is something new that we did. Okay. Um, what was other, it before? It was just a, it was a, a gray. Oh, color. was it gray? Yeah, okay. This is kind of what I meant by lighter and brighter. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Uh, in the past, through a few upgrades here, we incorporated a 72-inch LED light that's, that's on a motion nice. sensor. Yeah. We got rid of a lot of the felt board just uh -huh. to clean that up, and you know, you're not getting anything torn or scraped up during transit. We also added a charging station in our pass-through. You know they're always on the inside of the coach, but you know you're outside oh, most of the time, so just a USB great spot. USB-C too. Phone. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. A couple other cool things we did here, new additions. Some of you may remember we had a, we've always had a more ride step above entry system, but this is a quad versus the triple that we used. To oh, have. yeah, that was one yep. thing that we said in our our yeah. avenue. Yeah, it was like it felt like you were climbing. <laughs> You know a mountain right so. and, and it's no big deal for humans but dogs have a hard it. time walking yeah. down it and yeah you know, truly like we've obsessed over the feedback that we've gotten since we've launched avenue uh and i'm excited about the 2024 model because we have so many new enhancements based on that feedback hmm. i think you guys know we pride ourselves in that um, so you'll see a lot of these upgrades i think people have been asking for uh, the other thing here in the entryway is the uh, safety rail by Moride. This is a 42 and a half inch grab handle that extends past the last step. It just makes it a lot easier and safer getting in and out of the coach. Yes, yes. A few other new upgrades I'll show you here on the back. People keep ranting and raving about this ladder. That was yeah. us. That was, so, yeah, so, just... so when Will got his Avenue, Avenue yep. uh, there's a supply shortage. And I said, what is this? Yep. I called up Ryan Brady, or maybe I called up, up you. I forget who I called. Who we talked about? I said, right now, that's your new ladder, people. Because it is so nice to be able to climb up and not have that. Yeah. You know, I don't care who you are. That ladder's flexing. Mm -hmm. you know? It is. And this is rated for 300 pounds. I'd argue for a little more. Um, but uh, yeah, we've got it on all of our brands for the most part. Well, at least with Delta and Avenue right now. Yep. We even got it on our all access series. So this is something that's here to stay. Uh, another thing we added this year was we put a spray port uh, on at the back of the fifth wheel just to just to ensure your campsite's always going to be clean. Yep, I yeah. Think it's a good strategic place for it. Nice. A few other uh, things over here. I don't know if we can. You know what? We probably see it better over here. Sorry to make okay. it. I think uh, this will be an easier way. Yeah. So you'll notice we added a. Uh, 60,000 BTU on-demand water heater. Oh, right, yeah, right? yeah. And that's also on the all-access product, yeah, too. Yeah, see, we added the we, instant yeah. hot water heater. Yeah. 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 Yes, uh, it's been a great feature for us. To put a 60K on the all-access, I think, is pretty incredible, too, because it's a short offering. Typically, you'll see a 40 or 42K. Yep. Some great feedback we got on the pass-through compartment was, you may remember, we had two gas struts that opened this, this pass-through, uh, and it was a little difficult to get under. Uh, so we did a split door configuration here now access, ac accessing items um, from the passer on the uh, off door sides can be much much easier nice let's take yep. a look at the inside let's do it join us on the inside will so a lot just for the outside right uh, yeah definitely on the inside we uh we are offering this year right a new second decor this is an option this is our all new cashmere Ooh, cashmere yeah, this that? is the option right because i i heard a lot of people option. asking you yep. can still get the old you certainly can you know uh lighter wood we the lighter brighter is a, it's a great offering but you know, some folks just want something a little more streamlined yeah 
Uh, so we want to make sure we're appealing to the masses. It's funny, like in the comments, people are very, it's like 50-50, yeah, you know? Like some people are like, I love this so much better. They hated the Lightwood. And other people thought this was the new standard and were like freaking out, but it's yeah. good. You know, it's an option. Well, what I love about it is that really, you know, there's a lot of continuity in Alliance products when yeah. it's based on features. But now we have that continuity in, in design and look too. Mm -hmm. if someone wants an avenue, a delta, or a paradigm, uh, it allows them to make a, a better choice. Yeah, for sure. So, a few things real quick, some unique things here. This is a pretty innovative floor plan. Uh, like I said, mids bonus room. What I have historically heard in the past is, man, you can you can sleep eight, but you can seat four. Yeah. Right? So this is where the 101 inch wide U-shaped giant eight and that comes into play. Um, this is something I think you could set the whole family at. This looks pretty nice. It does. Um, you could also incorporate um, a dinette here with four chairs if this option wasn't for you. Nice. A few other things I'll sneak by you real quick. This yes, pantry sir. is massive. This is uh, lit with an LED strip. It's got adjustable shelves. And all of our pantries are going to have a 110 outlet. So a few upgrades there. Nice. Yep. And then what I love about this unit, actually, did you see my TikTok video on I this? Did. See how many views it got? 1.4 million yep. views. Nice. I'm a TikToker, y'all. Hey, I, I, I resonate with the kids. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's right. Listen, if people didn't watch my RV TikToks, you got to watch my dancing TikToks. Oh, I haven't seen that one. No. <laughs> it's all right. So I love how you call this the mid bonus room and not yeah. the mid bunk room. Because it is the bonus room. It could be used right. as another sleeping. It's awesome it's as a man cave. Office. Awesome as an office. I love that. Awesome. I awesome as that. an office. It really is. Another cool thing, I think it was pretty innovative having these French doors, if you will. Just yeah. bring that room into the living area if you wanted to do that. Right, good point. One of the coolest things, I've always hated... I hate this in a I didn't wow. I, I know. Wow. Hate to, I, know. I usually don't say that. You have some aggression right. issues? No. It's early. I need more coffee. The ladders that kick out. They're just, they're chinsy. They don't feel safe. So we were able to implement um, some built-in steps going into this, yeah, I like this that. loft here it's a lot safer and this is a little more private too you know it's not open up to everything else you make a great point that was a goal was to yeah. create privacy in that loft i yeah. mean if there's kids up here i'm sure there's nights where mom and dad uh want them in bed and not hanging over the edge right. asking why they're still up why so that? yeah right <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, just a couple new things in here um <laughs> obviously uh, just a new bathroom cubby caddy here new epoxy oh, new tops. epoxy yeah I like it. Now, now here's one thing I want to add. If you can step out and go into the bedroom. Yeah, excuse me. Um, Will, step. Will wanted the paradigm for the bigger shower, mm -hmm. but please don't mistake that for this shower not working for Will. Right. I mean, no, look the at this. Works. It's still a good great size shower. Good head space in here. Good with it. Still passes. Bing. Mm -hmm. That's shower test seal of approval. It's just not like overly massive, like in the paradigm. So what do we got going on back here? So back here, sorry, this is the uh, wow. bonus piece for the U-shaped dinette. Wow. It makes a massive bed. I don't know why it was just laying there. I, I would be so embarrassed because we yeah. caught that on camera. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, new headboard here. Yes. Uh, ANC charge ports on both ends of the bed. Yes. Uh, cool thing that we did here is we upgraded all our tops to hardwood tops. Went to a massive uh, dresser offering here with four big doors. Yep. Made this a little deeper, yeah. and now we've got shoe storage. Love oh, cool. Um, we were also able to incorporate a bench with mm. additional storage below that, so there we utilize this space really well. Wow. Uh, but those are the, the major things in here. Uh, One other cool thing I just want to mention, sorry, talk Matt. Talk to me. Third AC is now an option on Avenue. Wow, wow. So that is huge. Yeah, Especially as floor on, on what? Oh, all? Not uh, all. All Avenue. Oh, all Avenue. Yep. But not all access. Not all access. Right. right. And, and, and you guys got to understand, um, an Avenue and a Valor is different from an Avenue All Access and a Valor All Access. Yeah. And we do educate a little bit on our RV reviews. But Ab, you know we love you, brother. Love you guys. Appreciate Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, and again, guys, we're actually going to work the show now, and we'll come back this afternoon and do to wrap Delta. up this video and do the Delta. And I know you guys have already seen the Delta because this guy has one. So uh, stay tuned for like 10 seconds. All right, so to wrap up, we're gonna finish with the Delta in the Alliance display, and uh, the show started, guys. We're kind of running out of time, so Matt had to run. But if you guys haven't seen already, Matt actually purchased the Delta, like we said, um, like we'd said before. And here I have Eric Bailey. He is the product manager, right, for yes. Delta. And um, so he is one of the big experts with Delta, so I asked him to take a few minutes, walk through it with us, and um, show us 
I haven't even gotten a full walkthrough myself on Delta to see all the features and stuff. So it'll be kind of learning for me. I'm really excited to see. You want to start? Which floor plan would you say is, is the most popular, the hottest? And we'll, we'll go with that one. I'd say one of our most uh, hottest floor plans right now is our 294K, which is okay. one of our newest floor plans. Cool. Um, a lot of features to talk about and things that, you know, we're able to come up with from a lot of customer feedback um, okay. through their product development. Sounds good. Yeah, we'll start on the outside. So uh, one of the things you'll find in most all of our deltas is we have a pull-out 25-inch griddle grill combination. Um, this is something that we heard from a lot of customers really was something they take with them all the time and we wanted to give them a place where it's easy. Um, it doesn't take up their pastry storage or other areas of the unit. So we were able to integrate it um, into the kitchen base actually on the inside which is some dead space you typically see. Slides right out, it's solid, it's sturdy. You get your griddle and your grill. It's not the smaller 17 inch combination. Um, and it's also under your awning as well. Um, one nice of the, big awning yeah, too. Lots you got of awning two space. awnings. And then one thing too, really quick before we go to the front. I love this nice big ladder. You guys saw us talking about it on the avenue. Yeah. They did an even larger one. You know, you can dry your towels and everything there. It's really cool. Yeah, that was like the ladder that they started using when you guys had the shortages on the old ones. But yeah. then they're so nice and sturdy that you guys just stuck with it. Yeah, we had a lot of success with how strong and sturdy they are. 300 pound rating and then, uh, you know, based off feedback again, needing a place to hang stuff up, yep. beach towels and stuff like that when you're out there. Yeah, it's a great idea. Yep. Um, coming around, you mentioned our awning coverage. That's one thing we also focus on too as well. Um, this unit in particular, we have 26 feet of awning cover, so almost the entire nice. length of the unit um, is covered in awning. Um, this one's very unique. Uh, we've got an outside TV and entertainment center too here as well. Um, oh my God! There's a will. <laughs> Good. Hi guys. Were, they were customers from the very, they're OG Alliance customers oh, yeah. from yes. the very first show we were at, right? Yeah. Remember when you and I were working together? Yeah. Yeah. He, yeah. Really, he worked at Leo's. Yeah. Yep. You guys still love, you guys still love it? We still have it. Nice. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, she was there. Yep. Yeah. It was great to see you guys again. <laughs> see you too. See ya. All right, we step on inside here. It's nice and cool. Oh yeah, AC works good. Yeah, so one of the first things you notice on the inside of the GA 4 k is what you, you mentioned is the AC. Mm -hmm. We brought a lot of our success from the paradigm where we direct dump our ACs and they're ultra quiet uh, ACs as well. So we direct dump two ACs, one in the bedroom, one in the main living room on this floor plan. Um, and actually all deltas are uh, 50 amp service standard and two AC standard. Oh wow. Um, one thing that we do is unique is the AC that we use is ultra quiet and it can be ran on 30 amp service. So you do not have to have 50 amp service to run both of our ACs. Oh, so wow. It's, I love that. it's really going to cool much more efficiently than yeah. any other trailer out there as well. So do you have one color option in the Delta? Yes, okay. right. Yep, one color option in the Delta. Um, and as far as the interior goes, one thing that a lot of people notice too is we had a lot more spacious feel when you walk in. Um, we didn't go with a lot of the traditional crown barrel roofs. Right. Couldn't really but see. But it's still really tall ceilings. Right, so we're 81 inch in the center. And okay. all the way across, yeah, you know, crowning down. It allowed us to get taller cabinets, mm -hmm. deeper cabinets, more storage all the way throughout. Um, our slide boxes are three inches taller mm -hmm. and three inches deeper than you typically see. That's um, nice. Yeah. Remember when we were on that camping trip in Tennessee? I kept hitting my head. Hitting your head. Yeah. One time I got so mad. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you can, It just feels really spacious in here for a travel. Trip. It does. And another thing we. We don't do uh, any lips in our slide out floors or flush floor and there's no carpet as well nice. so it really opens up the area yeah. too. Um, one other thing that uh, we really looked at is, is every camper was saying hey I need a place for my trash can. So what we do on every floor plan is we actually integrate um, oh, cool. a tip out trash can. It's a full size trash can on every, uh, every floor plan. On this one we uh, swung it over to the island on most of them we were able to tuck it up yeah underneath the seat there so and that's nice because normally you know you put it here and then it's taking up walkway yeah. space yeah uh definitely so um you know really that's a lot of the things we tried to focus on was improving the customer experience um as far as using the camper mm -hmm. functionality usability um you know little things like that yeah so, i love the three you know sofas so no dinette in this floor two sofas, yeah. i'm sorry three-seater and the right. second sofa 
Yeah. And then this is all, truthfully, I feel like, tell me if you feel different, but I feel like Yeah, I mean, I personally for us, like, I'd be fine just having the bar stools there. You can sit and work, you can eat there. Yeah. Yes, so on this floor plan, particularly what we did is we looked at tr tr the traditional rear kitchen that a lot of travel trailers have. The TV's always up front here. It's a weird viewing angle. Yeah. So we're at the same length as all those other rear kitchens, and what we've achieved is a great TV view and angle. Yep. We have an 80 inch trifold and a 60, I'm sorry, 80 inch theater seat and a 60 inch trifold. So you get more furniture. Um, and also you gain um, a really large really pantry. Nice. Um, it's not hitting the slide out when you open up. It's got a motion light built in. So a um, lot bigger pantry you're going to see in this room kitchen, better view and angle, um, and a lot more furniture as well. Yeah. Too. So. And I like how you guys do the new Bluetooth speakers on the ceiling. Yeah, so that's something else we did too. Is we we looked at entertainment centers for all of our floor plans, and we noticed a lot of people focus on putting sound bars and other things in it, and not focusing on the storage. So we moved that up to the ceiling, so yeah, it's a better use of space yeah. as well. This is really nice. You want to show the rest of the layout, Will? Start with the shower. Tons of fat height oh, in that's here. That's nice. It's a great size shower, actually. Plenty of cold air coming in here too, so that's mm -hmm. nice. The duct uh, air. This definitely passes. Bing. <laughs> yep. And I like the retractable doors. I do like the retractable as well. Especially yeah. for like a travel trailer, because it's just more compact and it cleans itself. Yeah. You'll like this extra large sink. Nice. That was one other fee. One other thing we got that was heavily uh, on the feedback side was small sinks. You couldn't get your hands yeah. underneath them, so we wanted an extra large stainless steel sink in the That's kitchen. That's awesome. Well. Yeah, you like that. That's something I love about Alliance, because like we used to say that too. Yeah. Like, like why did they use such small bathrooms? Right. Yeah, or small sinks in the bathrooms, but Alliance really listens. Yeah. To people's feedback. So. Instant tankless water heater. That's very really nice. Cool by Furion. We'll test the toilet too, even though Matt has one, so obviously it's gonna pass. <laughs> It is porcelain. Porcel this bubbles. is a prime pooping position. Bing! Nice. So cool. You have a great then, bathroom actually yep. overall. And then, oh, we got a lot of storage back here in the closet area. So, all that hanging space. You have some drawers here. I like this hidden storage yeah. there. That's cool. Really nice nightstands. Lights. More hanging storage here or convertible so you can fold or hang. Nice. Yeah, I love that. And yeah. then anything, is there storage under the bed? storage under the bed, great. Nice. Yeah. Oh, and that's that like movable drawer, so. Yeah. It's a little bit more usable mm -hmm. storage space. Very nice. That's very cool. Well, thank you so much, Eric, for yeah, giving thanks. us a tour of the Delta. Yeah, thanks for stopping by. Yeah, do you, guys. Do you need to show pricing? Um, yeah, just for the show, we'll, we'll, we'll get on the way out. Okay. Is there, I don't know, if, how you get, is there anything on the outside you want to do? Because our storage department. And oh yeah, we, we can show the storage, okay. yep. Might be. Pricing guys for you. Okay. So we also have right here a 292 RL. So that's your rear living floor plan. And then this is the one that Matt got. The two, right? Yep. 262 RB. RB. So nice rear bath layout. Okay, and then he's gonna show. Yeah, so something else I wanted to show you guys is that we did unique is our pass-through storage. We have 62 cubic feet of drop frame pass-through storage up here. It's the largest uh, pass-through storage you're gonna find in any travel trailer. Yeah, that's huge. Um, we have two full-size doors on each side, but we also did uh, something else unique is our, when you look at this wall across, it's got a fitable style feel to it. Um, we've got convenience centers on both sides. We've got a TV, I'm sorry, a ta uh, removable table. Uh, this is a full a cool size. Idea. I do love that, yeah. A full size six foot table included in every Delta. Nice. Again, some feedback is one of the first things you do when you get to a campsite yeah. is you pull out your table mm -hmm. and you get your grill out to make dinner. Yep. Right. Um, so we put it on top so you don't have to bury uh, uh, it right. from Smart. underneath. Uh, and, then and it doesn't take away. From, I mean, you can still get totes oh, in yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still plenty of space yep. in there. Um, and another cool feature that we've done is we've actually included exterior awning yeah. switches. We still have them on the inside, but we have three-way awning switches that you can control your awning I from love the outside that. of the unit. That's cool. A lot of times you're looking at trees and stuff that are yeah. in the way. Yep. And on the other side as well, we've got a lot more um, things to talk about, but we've got the same three-way switch for our slide out. Oh, cool. Oh, so nice. that's a huge convenience factor. Yeah, when so you can stand there and watch yeah, while you don't have to scream up. back and forth or yep. work together. You can just hit the button, everything that is goes cool. out. Yeah, yeah. So. I love that. And I like how the wet bay is like all enclosed. Yep. yep. So, so very nice. Yeah. Cool. A lot well, of thanks, attention to detail. Eric, thanks for yep. taking some time. Thank you. Thank you. Yes.
All right, well. Guys, that wraps up the Alliance display. Th um, again, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to come down here and check out Alliance. They have so many uh, new products. Something, something cool this year, too. There's so many more floor plans than they can bring here. And they actually have a virtual reality headset. So if there's a floor plan you want to see um, that they don't have here, that's like the next best thing. Yeah, really, you can like virtually you know? walk through it. Yeah, show. make sure to come here. Uh, stop by the Mats Review Reviews tent. Get your Mats cash and uh, take that to your salesperson. And um, yeah, guys, anything else you want to say, Jen? I don't think so. I just filled in for the very end. Um, I don't think so, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, thanks for letting me fill in real quick since Matt's overmanning the tent. And if you guys are coming to the show, make sure you stop by our tent. We were supposed to be in an orange tent, but it got lost in the mail. So look for a general RV tent. It's actually right on your way down here to Alliance. Yeah, it's a red tent. And come by and see us. We have liquefied for sale. So if you've been waiting to pick that up, uh, we, we're doing 20% uh, off or two for 20. Um, we have- two for, Buy two, get one free. Oh, I'm sorry. We're doing 20% off or buy two, get one free. So whatever works for you. We have stickers and everything, so make sure you stop by the tent and say hi. Cool. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you uh, probably, what, tomorrow? Yep. Tomorrow we'll morning for another video. Bye, guys.